Hi, this is Adirondack Guy, and this video that I'm making is uh, my personal opinion, uh, but it's about why I believe uh, upstate New York should separate itself from New York City, and of course Long Island as well. I'm sure Long Island uh, for years has been trying to separate themselves. So this is all about secession. And why? Why do many New York, upstate New York residents want to secede from New York City? Why do we not, why do we not like them so much? You know, a lot of people are like, why? New York City is such a cool place and cool people and blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm about to tell you why. Uh, and there are many reasons. And I have a clip, uh, I have a small list here. But there are very potential reasons as to why upstate New York wants to be separated from New York City. So here we go. Uh, first of all, we're going to talk about um, some potential facts. And this is from the uh, article from the web page All of Albany.com. All, all over, sorry, all over Albany.com. It's like, that sound weird. Uh, and it's, uh, the article is, what if upstate New York and downstate New York were separate states? And it gives some um, statistics. Uh, number one, the first we have to understand are some facts. Uh, this was in 2014. So this is quite a few years ago. Uh, I'm sure the numbers have changed dramatically. The population of downstate New York was 12,292,543 people. Uh, about. Upstate New York was 7,105,594. So there's quite a difference when it comes to population. Now, when they say downstate New York, they're also talking about Long Island, but really a good percentage of that number is New York City. And it's still larger than upstate New York. And what do you mean by upstate New York? Well, a lot of us argue what upstate New York is, but when I'm talking about upstate here, I'm basically talking about um, from the boundaries of New York's of the county where New York City's in up. So, so um population square mile downstate New York um three thousand seventy seven uh point sixty upstate New York a hundred and thirty people point twenty five per mile. Uh, we have a lot of room up here. Uh, let's see, uh, uh, employed uh, by the thousands, uh, five thousand six hundred and ninety four point two, three thousand two hundred and four point six, unemployed by the thousands. 468.6, that's downstate New York, and upstate New York is 254.6 thousand. And so both have for unemployment rate is around 7 point something percent of unemployment. So unemployment is about the same, at least that of 2014. So uh, as you can see, uh, downstate New York has quite a large population compared to upstate. And the reason is because we're very mountainous for country uh, folks. Most of it is, um, like I said, woods, uh, farms. Uh, we have a f quite a few cities up here, but still uh, a large percentage is very mountainous. In fact, we have one of the largest uh, parks in the nation. 
you call the Adirondack Park, which is what I'm calling Adirondack Eye. So why, why do we want to separate? Well, let's begin with, just get out of the way, moral reasons. Uh, when you live in the country or in the mountains, your moral views differ a lot than the folks in, who live in the cities. And I think it has a lot to do with your livelihood, but also I think it also has to do with um, your, you become, when you live in the wilderness or when you live on off the land, you are more faith driven, driven and you believe more of, of a God, of creation, because you're surrounded by it. Now, this is not representing all people in upstate New York, but a good percentage of us are very religious. And so we have very religious moral values, such as anti-abortion and um, even uh, when it comes to um, sexuality and uh, uh, views of, of how uh, you treat uh, people uh, who commit crimes, all kinds of moral issues. So upstate New York is <clears throat> very, uh, well, you would consider conservative or even you may want to consider it old fashioned, but it is the way we think up here. And again, it's not because we are stubborn, it's because of how we live. Now, um, saying that, this also has an impact on our livelihood. So, our livelihood is very different, but, okay, before I get back, we'll go back to moral. So, because our morals are very different from the morals of New York City and, and much of downstate New York, we have a different insight of how we see things. And so, how we vote determines on our way of thinking. Our livelihood. In upstate New York, our livelihood is going downhill. And one of the reasons is because of laws being passed. Keep in mind that the people that are voted in to represent New York State are mostly voted by the people from New York City. They are the percentage of the people. They give the percentage of the vote. And so they will vote for people in New York State to represent them. Which means that us people in upstate New York will suffer because they are going to make laws in New York City They'll support them, but can harm us. And they represent, have people who represent them who think they know what's best for us up here. And that is not the case. They don't know what's best for us up here. Their views on how we should live is very different on how what we believe. And so you have to understand that us people in upstate New York are thinking that these guys in New York City are forcing us to become like them. And you can't do that because up here, it just doesn't work that way. Even if we become like them and then their views and lifestyles, we are destroying ourselves because you can't survive in upstate New York with such viewpoints that they have. Number three, the constitution. Now, a lot of people in upstate New York, again, are very conservative views. Keep in mind, it's not all Republicans. I'm not a Republican. I'm actually part of the conservative party, but it's also some Democrats up here. You see, again, Democrats, Republicans, whatever party you belong to, a percentage of them up here are very conservative in their views, not because of, of, of you know, just decided that they think this way, it's because of their livelihood, the, the culture, the surrounding of nature and everything about us makes us and forces us to think this way. But also, it's our reality. It is our truth up here. And when we are being forced to think or live in a different reality, you are actually, again, destroying us. The Constitution has an effect. You see, the Constitution, in our opinion, is meant for everybody. And it's not a living document. The Constitution is a, strand, uh, is a stand forward document that relies on the people 
to keep it so. The Constitution is to keep the government limited. And among that is the Bill of Rights, which tells of the rights of the people. So this includes many things such as uh, gun rights, uh, such as religious rights, freedom of speech, all this. And the people in New York City have a whole different view and whole different lifestyle than we do. We rely on our guns. We rely on um, on the Constitution um, as as what it actually literally means. It was meant for everybody, and we even believe that even New York City and uh, what we do believe is New York City should follow the Constitution 100% as much as we should. And as a result, we are very divided on this. So there is a constitutional separation viewpoint. And of course, it's common sense. As I've explained earlier, we the people of upstate New York have a whole different lifestyle, a whole different view, we're a whole different people. It's the same agenda during the American Revolution. We thought the way that we were in the colonies was entirely different than those in uh, Great Britain. And it was the lifestyle. It, and we weren't treated equally as the people in Great Britain. And we were forced to do things to support Great Britain. And we feel the same in upstate New York. We we're made to pay taxes, to be, to be forced to follow certain laws and everything to support New York. And so we wish to be separated from New York City because that's what all this is for. It's for New York City. Now, a lot of people argue and they say, well, New York City, you know, they're giving you money for your schools, your roads. It's like, yeah, they are. And the reason is because they made these laws on how they should think that our children should be taught. And we have to pay taxes for them to, for their viewpoints of how our children should be taught. The roads. Actually, the roads is a bad uh, subject to talk about because they stink. But that's a whole nother topic to talk about. But it's like everything else. They say, well, they're giving you money for this. Actually, they're giving us money to pay for their agenda, to brainwash us in our thinking. And it's more than that. People are leaving. Our younger generation is leaving up here. They can't survive. And this can go on and on and on. And again, we do. We blame it all on New York City, and we have good cause to. So that's why, uh, in a short video, why upstate New York wishes to be separated from New York City. And I have a feeling it's going to happen, one form or the other, uh, in one way or the other. Okay, so there you have it, and I hope this was very educational.